I would say the food that I liked the most from the Indonesian food um, were the noodles. In Germany, a lot of people uh, either have uh, no religion or are Christians. So it was really different to see a country in which uh, the majority of people uh, is, are Muslims. And yeah, that was really interesting. Also the people again, the friendliness and everything. And the spices, right? it's really crowded oh, okay. here. Jadinya kita memang mau memulai dari Universitas Islam Riau gitu, untuk uh, bekerja sama. Um, hi, my name is Leah. I'm 24 years old and I'm from Germany. I currently study at the FH Dortmund and I'm in my third semester of studying international business right now. Hello everyone, my name is Mega. I'm from Germany but originally from Jakarta. Hello, I'm Maxi. I'm from Stuttgart in Germany and uh, I'm studying in Dortmund in Germany at the Fachhochschule Dortmund like Mega as well. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Laura. I'm 19 years old. I'm also studying at Fachhochschule Dortmund. Um, yeah, my program is called International Business Management, but currently we're studying together in our third semester and we're very happy to be here. So thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> I work with uh, Mr. Boner from the Fachhochschule Dortmund. Um, I'm actually his student. And uh, with Mr. Michael Boner and Mr. Stefan Kors from the Bundeswehr University in Munich, we have the project Digitalization in Law and Society in Indonesia. And Mega and me, we are both uh, working as, we could say, organizers for the project. Okay, so um, we are in a summer school, um, which is why we are like only for two and a half weeks here, not like Julius, the exchange student here at uh, UIA. And um, yeah, our position or role is a bit difficult, <laughs> but um, yeah, to put it in a nutshell, like to sum it up, uh, we're here for the uh, intercultural exchange and uh, like to get to know each other, to talk a little bit to the students as well. And um, yeah. <laughs> That's basically it. So the project uh, Digitalization in Law and Society in Indonesia is about, in general, uh, like the name says already, law, society, digitalization, but it is also a lot about intercultural cooperation. And uh, already for the whole year we have different kind of activities in this project. We had a student exchange with stu two students from uh, Pekambaru, who studied in uh, Dortmund for one semester. We have now the second student from Dortmund studying here in uh, Pekambaru. We also would like to share, develop a shared curriculum. That means that students from both universities and maybe in the next years even more universities can be in the same lecture via, for example, Zoom. That's one thing we want to do within the project. And uh, now we have this uh, summer school here um, with five people or seven people here and uh, we had some lectures by the professors here at UIA, we had some presentations by the students and uh, lots of other activities in the recent days. So it, it's actually a summer school, uh, I thought it, it was a summer vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Because every time you go abroad or just do an exchange, even for a few weeks, you get a little more independent every time. And it's always good um, to get to know people all over the world and just make some new friends. So I think it's really important that we can show them like different opportunities, what they can do. Yes, yeah, it's important. and especially this program is uh, really important, I think, because, for example, yesterday we met a really nice girl, so shout out to her. Um, <laughs> we were talking to her and we realized that um, in Germany, like we have a lot of opportunities to um, go abroad, to study abroad or do and do other programs. And students sometimes here are not aware of the opportunities. And that's why we think that this program is really important to show them that they can go abroad and they that they have the opportunities. Um, and therefore, yeah, we are really glad to like talk to the students and um, we're glad that they ask us so many questions about it. Pertama-tama, uh, ceritanya adalah uh, 
Profesor Coase dan Shafri Nadi itu memang udah dari 11 tahun yang lalu temenan. Jadinya uh, memang mereka pengen membuat sesuatu bersama-sama lah untuk yang mem memajukan Indonesia. Nah Shafri Nadi ini kebetulan adalah rektor, uh, maksudnya Bapak Shafri Nadi. <laughs> Uh, kebetulan adalah rektor dari um, Universitas Islam Riau. Nah, jadinya kita memang mau memulai dari Universitas Islam Riau gitu, untuk uh, bekerja sama. Mungkin bisa juga uh, nanti tahun depannya nggak cuma UIR tapi universitas yang lain juga. Oh, ya. Tapi UIR jadi yang pertama. Ya. UIR ada jadi yang pertama. Yes, uh, well, to be honest, I'm half Asian. Um, my mom is from Vietnam. So, uh, like, uh, I've been to Asia for a couple of times, like over 10 times, and I always compare it to Vietnam. And for example, the traffic is very different uh, from the traffic in Germany, but I'm like oh, also kind of used to it. I wouldn't drive here, <laughs> um, but I like that a lot of people have motorcycles, and it's sometimes interesting when four people are sitting on the motorcycle, like the parents, the child in the front, the child in the back, sometimes the child in between. <laughs> We're like always so scared like please don't fall out <laughs> um, no but in general I, I really like it here and I also like um, spicy food not too spicy though um, yeah but uh, the most important thing to mention is like really the friendliness of the people here so yeah <laughs> I would say the food that I liked the most from the Indonesian food um, were the noodles that I had and we were at this uh, camping place and I think it was the fourth oh, night. Was what was the name of the noodles? Indomie. Indomie, yeah. This was very delicious. <laughs> and what I also like a lot is that uh, the restaurants here have so many milkshakes and sweet drinks on the menu because that's something that I really like and in Germany, especially the restaurants usually don't serve like 20 different milkshakes or sweet uh, things when you are there for food and here you can order food and a milkshake. I know that's not very typical, but that's something I like, and so that's something I can do a lot here. Nasi itu benar-benar kiki itu, jadinya nggak bisa kayak makan kapal dan udang setiap hari gitu. Not a big fan of meat. 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 The chicken. Ah, meat. And not a big fan of spicy food. Yeah, almost. almost. <laughs> it's really hot. Um, also, the people again, the friendliness and everything, and it's probably spicy that spread. it's really crowded oh, okay. here. <laughs> There's so much going on everywhere. Oh, that's the um, well, it's basically the same, but um, if I could add one more thing, maybe the noise. Um, <laughs> because um, there's this um, I, I don't know, music or uh, this prayer uh, five times a day, if I get it correctly. Yes, and that was something to get used to. Um, because we weren't used to it, we don't have anything like that in Germany. And even when we were camping in the mountains, even there were like speakers with the music that was, yeah, quite impressive. <laughs> dan buat proyek ini akan terus berlanjut setiap tahunnya dan juga uh, saya untuk harapan ke depan ya gitu ya buat Indonesia itu jadi um, uh, sorry mahasiswa mahasiswa Indonesia itu udah bisa uh, jadi mahasiswa bertaraf internasional juga gitu. uh, dan mahasiswa yang berani itu nomor satu karena uh, menurut saya banyak mahasiswa-mahasiswa di sini yang bagus banget bahasa Inggrisnya, tapi cuma uh, missing satu poin, uh, cuma harus track. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, this being honest. Yeah, for me it's clear that it's the humidity. <laughs> I think it's really hard to handle it. <laughs> So I brought like a mini 
Okay. Because <laughs> it's, really yeah, it's just so hot all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, another thing um, is that I mean, you probably know that a lot of Germans are really structured. They always have a plan. For example, if you ask them whether they have time for a meeting, they say, "Oh, yeah, in four four weeks at I don't know five p.m." And um, yeah, that does not apply to all the Germans, but both of us, we are really, really structured. Um, so yeah, it was uh, hard to adapt to that, but that's uh, yeah how how it works, and it's also great to learn about it. <laughs> So uh, for me, it's the first time in Indonesia now and uh, I'm very happy to be here. And uh, what I want to mention first is that it's uh, the people here, they are so tremendously friendly in the way how they welcome us here. And uh, I've been already to many places around the world, but almost never met persons which are so guest friendly like here. That should absolutely not mean that the people are not friendly somewhere else, but uh, what I experienced here in the last week that was really amazing and I want to say thank you to everybody here who I've met. Um, well, one interesting aspect is that, um, I don't know, for example, I don't know whether you know, but um, in Germany a lot of people uh, either have uh, no religion or are Christians. So it was really different to see a country in which uh, the majority of people uh, is, are Muslims. And yeah, that was really interesting. Um, yeah, because I've never seen it before. So yeah. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of mosques. Yeah. At the moment, I would say my biggest hope is that we can continue with this project for another two years because at the moment we have the project only for one year confirmed by the DAAD, the German uh, Academic Exchange Service and uh, we applied already to do this project again for another two years and uh, that's uh, what I hope that we can continue because uh, it's amazing when we look what we achieved already in this uh, first year just what happened everything in, in the last uh, two weeks here and uh, I think it would be very sad if we uh, cannot continue in this way. I mean, if we cannot continue confirmation of the DAID, that would not mean that uh, we are not in contact anymore, but uh, it make uh, many things easier. And that's what I hope a lot at the moment. As you can see, it's such a great exchange with everyone. And I think a lot of people would benefit from it, like Nana and Randy did. Um, I think it's just a great opportunity for everyone. Yeah, I obviously also hope that the project is going to continue. Um, but my biggest hope is that uh, students here realize how many options they have if they um, pr uh, improve their English. And um, yeah, I believe that if the project um, yeah, is going well, that there will be other projects as well. And um, yeah, that they will even have more opportunities to go abroad. For example, also with other countries, not only with Germany. Um, yes, I really hope that. <laughs> Jangan lupa saksikan Milik Mapoyan YouTube Oya Official Yay